When I see someone standing exactly like this, I think three things. Lazy, bored, and unprofessional. But when someone's standing upright and balanced, I look at them as someone I want to approach. Someone that's happy and looking forward in life. Who do you want to be? Someone that's lazy or confident? I pick confidence. Oh. <laughs> here we go. You good? Yeah. You good? Cool. What's poppin' fam? My name is Brennan Myers. I am here with my lovely lady Lexi Fanuff. Hi. And first of all, go check out the new daily vlog channel every single day. Coming out with a new vlog and it's just documenting the hilarious life that we live. And second, the apparel is supposed to be coming out today, but unfortunately it is not. So what are we doing in this video? Why is there a chair in the middle of the grassy area? Well, we took it away from the beach cafe, but you don't have to worry about that. The chair is here to show you a little bit about like what things that you could be working on to get your muscles from your left, from your right, so your biceps, your lats, your quads, your calves, every muscle in your body to be balanced because that's what we're really working towards. We want a symmetrical body. We want one here like this and flexing in the mirror and we're like that and it's just, it's just off, right? So we grab the chair and I'm gonna be talking about a few different points today. So first of all, how are you sleeping? How are you sitting? How are you walking? And then when you're working out, what type of exercises are you doing? And then we're gonna give you some stretches that you could be doing every single day to help you out. So without further ado, Let's get this started. So to get started, we are going to be focusing on sitting. So the way you sit is going to have a huge, huge effect on how your muscles will form to those specific areas of, let's say, the hips or the upper body. If you're getting injured, this could be the issue. She's looking at me because she's in love. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so when you're looking at the way she's sitting as we speak, she has one leg crossed over. This is gonna be putting a lot of strain on this hip. Now, a lot of the hip, there's gonna be a lot of force being provided on that opposite hip, so now her body's going to not be adjusted to the way it should be. And that should be completely straight with her chest up and completely straight with the neutral spine. Now, when she was also leaning over to the left, which many people do in office chairs, you can see that this shoulder is elevated and this one is depressed and a little bit internally rotated. This is one of the main issues for my injury in my right shoulder and my right pec and my right bicep and tricep because I was so internally rotated that now there's a lot more strain and whenever I was walking around or anything like that, this one was completely back but this one was internally rotated and it consistently had to pull, pull, pull at my muscles. So when you're sitting down, there's just five points that we want to be really focusing on. Making sure that both of your feet are directly on the ground, making sure that you're as far back as possible on the seat. So really come back further. There we go. Making sure our, our hands are here on each specific side of the chair if you can, if you can reach the, the uh, floor obviously, and if you can put your hands side by side. Next is going to be making sure you're in a neutral spine with your chest up and your shoulders retracted. What this is gonna do is just keep everything aligned, especially when you go into movements and working out. And finally, she's still in love. <laughs> she's, she's not falling out of love yet. Next is keeping that chin back and directly over that spine rather than going a little bit anteriorly tilted in the front. Now we want to come right back here and as you can see she's straight completely from head all the way down to toe. I know it looks kind of ridiculous because that's not what we're used to but if you want to be balanced all throughout your whole entire body this specifically for sitting remember we have other things that we're going to be diving into will directly correlate to how you're feeling in the end. Next step we got the standing up posture and that's the most important yay so we have the full standing up position now outside of sitting down we sit down most of the time right outside of sleeping we're walking we're walking we're running we're jogging well most of us actually are not really running or jogging so we're mostly just standing up so how are we going to work with our posture that will correlate completely with the way our body is going to adjust and our muscles are going to adjust. Well, first of all, it's always suspending back in those shoulders. If you could see right here, it's completely straight, her spine, from that position. Now, right when you suspend those shoulders back and get a big, big chest, what we need to focus on is now our chin. Where's our chin at? If our chin is very, very far forward and we're like this, we're anteriorly tilting, well, 
we need to get it back because it's putting a lot of pressure on that higher or cervical spine, okay? So now what we're gonna do is tuck in that chin towards our spine more, even more right here. And this is a good exercise that you could be doing. You just come in, come in. And you could also be laying down and pressuring straight into the ground for the same movement. So now as you can see, we have our cervical and thoracic spine exactly where we want it to be. Now we're gonna move a little bit lower and where we have most of the issues every single day has to do with our anterior pelvic tilt of our hips. <laughs> Don't be shaking a macho gotcha. girl. <laughs> so when she's standing here, as you can see, her butt's sticking out a little bit more. So what do we have to do? We need to go into posterior pelvic tilt a little bit more to even out exactly where those hips are. Doing this is gonna take a lot of strain off of that lower back, and now you're gonna equally be working whenever you're training or in any way, your abs and your quadratus laboris, your rector spinae coming all the way down your spine, and then finally, making sure that our knees are not like always bent in this position. So if we're upright, right, we're not gonna completely extend through our knees, but we're gonna flex just a little bit just feel loose, right? And turn our palms out just a bit. This is going to help you a lot when you're standing still and it will directly correlate with- I feel that. It's yeah, you see it, right? Your shoulder blades open. Exactly, so here, nice. if you're in this position, you will really, really help out all of the compensation that you are, that's occurring in your body and you'll feel a lot more balanced. Now to the way you are sleeping, this is going to correlate completely with how you are feeling, your injuries, and then also the compensation that you're creating because of the way your muscles are conforming to the position that you are in. So as you can see, we're gonna start off with your stomach. You should never sleep on your stomach, that is it. As you can see, her cervical spine is completely twisted, her hip is twisted, externally rotated, so now there's gonna be more strain on her hips and it's just out of whack. Her lumbar spine is fully extended, hyperextended, and that's not what we want. So generally, you wanna be sleeping on your back. If you can, sleep on your back. If you can't, we will get to that in just one second. So on your back, what you really wanna be focusing on is not having your hips completely out, one hip out, externally rotated. You want them to be completely straight if you can. Let them relax, but also, instead of having that extension in that spine, in that anterior pelvic tilt that we just talked about, we are going to tighten in just a little bit, okay? And this is gonna require our butts to come up a little bit, right? And then tucking in right here and falling asleep there, and then also just letting your chin relax in this position. You don't want it to the side, you don't want it to the right, to the left. All you want is no pillow. Try and sleep with no pillow. If you need a pillow, get something very, very thin, and you're good here allowing your arms to externally rotate, okay, with your palms facing up. Now, if you can't sleep like this and it's just not comfortable, this is the best for you, straight all the way from the toes to the head. Now we're gonna go to the side. Now as we go to the side, you're gonna see, you can roll over to the side, okay? Generally, this is how a lot of people would sleep, right? On the side with maybe a pillow or something, but it's still all out of whack. You see her lumbar spine. You see her hip, how it's completely uh, trying to just twist. And then we, we look at her upper body and it's just internally rotated at the shoulder. So one of the main things I had that was a big issue was the divot in the bed, which forced me to sleep on my side. So if you do have a divot in your bed, check that first before anything. If you have that, buy a new mattress, go work, do, do a couple hours of work and buy something that is completely straight from head to toe. So as she goes on the side, what we're gonna be focusing on is bringing that hip up and relax by putting a pillow in between and keeping this leg completely extended, okay? So as she comes here, you really want to be straight as much as possible. So you keep this here with that pillow. This is gonna be relaxing, okay? Just pretend like this is relaxing right now. Next is her lumbar spine here. She's gonna be tucking in just a little bit so that it feels a lot better on that in that position when she wakes up. And then finally, her upper body. So instead of her being all the way over with her hand kind of under her actual face, what she's gonna be doing is putting this arm about right here, just relaxed right on her side, okay? Or she could have it just here. Just make sure that it's not completely on the head because that what that's gonna do is just internally rotate that shoulder and put a lot of strain in that area. So just keep it here. And then with this arm right here, what we wanna do is have it 
flexed at the elbow and tucking it in here. And th what this is gonna do is it makes it completely straight. Once this is up, as you can see, and she tucks in just a little bit, it is straight with her spine. Her cervical spine is good, her thoracic, her lumbar, and everywhere from the top to bottom is exactly where it needs to be. So if you focus on these few points that I just discussed, you will be that much closer to feeling better when you wake up, but generally try and sleep on your back. That'll be your best bet. And look to see if you have a huge cave in your bed and you'll be Gucci. I know that kind of cut really, really quickly, but it's because I wanted to get to a point that's even more important than just working your muscles two times per week. Every muscle you need to be working two times per week. More importantly is the way you're training. If you're not training correctly, if you're always internally rotated whenever you're trying to do a row, right, then you're going to not be working the muscles the right way. You're not going to be isolating them the way it was supposed to be performed. Or let's say you're bench pressing and you're elbows are completely flared out here, well, now you're going to be putting strain on muscles that you should not be putting strain on. So when you are trying to do all of these exercises, you're going to focus on just a few different points. So remember what I talked about for the actual posture, keeping that chin back, opening up those palms at first. Okay. So if you're doing anything here, making sure you're completely straight, tucking in those hips. And then if you're going to go ahead and do a row, stay in that same position and then row to your actual body. Or if you're going to do an overhead press, don't just overhead press. And when you push over, pump your, your chin all the way through, or don't extend completely on the lumbar spine as she just did. Keep everything tight, come down and come straight up. Just make sure that the bar path is exactly the way it should be. And that goes with everything for your squat. If you're going to be squatting correctly, make sure that your actual hips are not too much anteriorly or posteriorly tilted. So what are you, what are you going to do? Generally, we're more anteriorly tilted than we are posteriorly. So focus more on the posterior side of that tilt, which is tucking in those hips and now squatting down and keeping that spine completely tight and then coming back up. So every point that you need to be in is going to be in this tuck position, every specific point, retracted scaps in every specific movement. If you're not, you will see that you're compensating on one side more than the other. One trap might be higher than the other or different things that might be arising that you don't like. So that being said, take all of this information that I have spewed out today and this beautiful girl and watch what she did in all of her demonstrations and just adjust the way you're training, the way you're sleeping, the way you're sitting, the way you're walking, and you will see a complete difference in the way your body is and adjusting. I have issues with it. She has issues with it. We all have issues with the balancing of our specific body parts. Now, another thing to, to keep in mind is sometimes we have a longer origin to insertion point of our biceps or let's just say our quads or our calves. So that will be a big difference. This guy's rolling around behind us <laughs> and it will have an effect on the way it looks. So don't be too afraid if you see that one bicep is a lot higher than the other because I have the same issue. But what I can focus on is trying to keep everything completely straight all the time, which will help me feel better. And things that you could be doing are stretching, right? A lot of stretching. She stretches a lot. That's what I lack a lot in my life so that I have to stretch more all over my body. It's just not my quads. It's just not my lower back. It's just not my upper back, my anterior delts, my chest. It's every part of my body. So focus on that like five to 10, 10 minutes per day. Focus on the things that we told you and move it forward in your training and your regimen so that you can feel better in the end. So thank you so much for tuning in. Lexi's channel is in the description if you want to check her out. If you want any programs to couple with this type of structure that we talked about, the posture and everything like that, go ahead and check out our body design tool. We'll help you out with that and specific something for your unique goals. Also the apparel is coming out and the vlog channel is right up there. I got super serious in this video by the way, so usually I'm not this crazy. but. That is what it is. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in so much. Thank you for the support. Hashtag calisthenics down in the description box. You can't do that because you don't have my YouTube channel, but you can put it in the comment section and that's what we want. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you Tuesday.